Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have my Lush Holiday Haul for you guys and this is my first Lush Christmas so I was really excited about all the new products that were coming out. Um, Lush does this every year for Christmas, brings back limited edition products or products just that they don't sell year round. They do have like a Christmas holiday theme to them and I had never experienced this so I was super excited to get my hands on these products. So let's get into talking about what I got. And first I'll talk about the soaps. And the first one is the Angel's Delight, which is the soap here. And usually on the big block of it at the store, there's like stars coming off of it. And it's just a really pretty mold and very pretty soap. And it has a very fruity smell to it, kind of like more of a berry fruity scent to me as opposed to like citrus. And um, yeah, it's pretty color. I've used this a couple times. It's got like the same consistency as Godmother soap. Um, and I really like it. So there's Angel's Delight. And then the next soap is the Father Frost soap, and it is a very pretty blue color, but I just don't like the smell of this. It's really floral, and to me it kind of smells like wax. And I've used this on my hands just to see if like in the water the scent kind of changed, and it doesn't really. I just don't really care for this. It smells like that unscented candle wax with a little bit of floral. So I'm really glad I just got a $5 piece because I just don't care for this. And then the last holiday soap is the Snow Cake, which is this pretty white soap. It's kind of got the Alkmaar consistency. And this soap smells just like the Smitten um, Hand Lotion by Lush. It's that nice, warm, almondy scent. I really like it for fall. And it's just a really pretty scent. And the soap smells just like that. And then I did get a few samples of soaps. I got the New Bar, which is like the pistachio one. And I don't really, I don't know, it's very creamy and it's got like the nuts in there to exfoliate, but I don't really like the smell. It's okay. And then I got some of the 13 soap, which has oregano in it to fight MRSA. And uh, it, this really smells bad, but I guess it, just to leave it by my sink as a hand soap. And I got it for free, just a sample. So those are the two free soap samples I got. And these are kind of like new-ish soap. So back to the holiday stuff. They had this little fairy tale sugar scrub, which looks like a little mouse. It's so cute. It has a little tail and it smells just like yummy, yummy, yummy. The shower gel, the strawberry shower gel, it smells so good and it's so cute. I think those are little like white chocolate chips for his eyes. He's so cute. They came out with a new sugar. And then they came out with the Double Fast Luck um, Emoti Bomb. And this smells like karma. And you put this in the bottom of your shower. And it releases scent like aromatherapy. And like it smells like the karma orange and patchouli scent. And it's so pretty. And it has this sparkle on it. And then I got the Snow Fairy Shower Gel, which is this pretty pink color. It has this iridescent kind of sparkle in it. And it smells just like the candy fluffing powder. It's that nice cotton candy, fruity candy, kind of banana. I smell a little banana in this. I don't know. But it smells really good. It's very candy, very sweet, very girly. I like this a lot and these two smell just a lot. And then I got the Snow Shower Shower Jelly. Just a little piece. And it's just this white kind of shower jelly that smells like grapefruit. You just kind of crush this in your loofah and use it as a shower gel. Very refreshing and invigorating kind of grapefruit smell and it's that bright white snow color. So there's the shower jelly that they came out with for the holiday collection. And then next is bath melts and this is the Star Bath Bath Melt. And it smells like the candy fluffing again and like the snow fairy. These smell just alike. It smells so good. I love this scent. So they brought a lot of this into the holiday line, which I like. I love this scent, but I could see where some people may think it's too sweet, but I like it. Okay, so the next thing is the One to Bleed Bath Melt, and this is one of the frothing bath melt melt. Not like this one that's just going to kind of slowly melt into your tub, and it's just going to melt. This one's going to kind of froth and fizz more, kind of like melting moments or floating island. It just kind of has like a musky, charcoal, kind of smoky scent. Just nothing really too special. But it is one of the frothing bath uh, melts, which I like. And it has this silver glitter. So there is the one to believe bath Next melt. is the Christmas Eve bubble bar. And this is kind of like a floral scent. I like it. It's okay. I think it kind of has the same scent as the Father Frost soap. 
But this one is just a little bit more tolerable to me than this one. They're both definitely very floral. Then there's the Tom Tay Bubble Bar, which looks like this. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but the name is T-O-M-T-E. It's supposed to be a gnome name that Lush kind of voted on their employees and picked. But this is what it looks like. It's so cute. And it's supposed to smell like a famous soda, and they want you to guess. And it's Dr. Pepper, so this is supposed to have a Dr. Pepper scent. But to me, it's kind of cinnamony. I guess you, I could see where it would smell like Dr. Pepper, but it smells really good. I think this is one of the more holiday-scented bubble bars. Some of them don't really have that kind of warm holiday scent, and I thought this definitely had it. So there's the next is the candy cane bubble bar, which looks like this, and it smells just like the... Um, Snow Fairy, Candy Fluffin, the Star Melt, Bath Melt thing. So they all have that same scent um, as this. And I really like it. Definitely sweet and cotton candy. And it's got a whole array of products that smell like this. So you can always use them together, which is cool. And then there was one other bubble bar that was red and had sparkles on it, which I thought I got, but I'm not seeing it here. Because I really wanted to pair that one, which smells like potion lotion. It's kind of got that carnation and clove. That's what the red glittery bubble bar is supposed to smell like, the potion lotion. And I thought it would cocktail awesome with the So White Bath Bomb. And it looks like this. And this bath bomb smells amazing. It's really hard for me to describe, but it's very fresh apple scent. Just a very fresh apple. I love this. And with that um, red glittery bubble bar together, because I smelled them together in the store, it just smelled so good. And I could have swore I got the holiday bubble bar, but I must have left it out somehow. But this is the... So White Bath Bomb, and I love, this might be my favorite bath bomb out of all the holiday ones. It smells so good. So there's that. And then there's the Satsuma Bath Bomb, and he looks like this. It's a little Santa that's the front, that's the back, his little pouch. And this smells like oranges. It smells really good, very orangey. So there's that. And there is the um, Butterball Snowman, looks like this. Smells kind of like vanilla and cocoa powder. It smells very good and it's so cute. This is just the cutest little snowman ever with his little nose and scarf. So there's that. And then there is the Cinder's Bath Bomb. And I'm so excited. This might be my second favorite to um, the Snow White Bath Bomb, which looks like this. And this red is Pop Rocks. So when you put this in your tub, the idea is it's going to be like a crackling fire where the Pop Rocks are going to kind of crackle. And it kind of has like a smokier scent to it. But I really like this scent. I, it's hard for me to pin down. It kind of has a sweet scent at the same time, kind of candy-like. But... Very good, very cool, and I'm excited to use it to see what the Pop Rocks are going to do in my tub. So there's the Cinders Bath Bomb. And there's the Christmas Party Bath Bomb, which looks like this. There's these stars on it. Mine had more on it, and they're in the bag that you put the bath bomb in, so I'll just dump those in when I use this. But this smells like um, orange and kind of like a lime and cognac kind of scent. It kind of reminds me of the Champagne Supernova Bath Bomb in the permanent line. But this is the Christmas party. And then there's the Jingle Spells, which looks like this. And this is kind of like a very soothing kind of, I don't know, I kind of smell lavender in it. But it's very soothing. It's supposed to be good for like hangovers and kind of menstrual cramps. It's just a soothing bath bomb. And it looks like this. And then there's the Little Lush Pud, which is so cute. It's got this little holly design on top of it. And it's this oatmeal and white color. And this smells just like the Smitten hand wash as well. So Smitten, Snow Cake, Soap, and Little Pud all smell the same. And it's that nice, warm, kind of almondy scent. So there's Little Lush Pud. And then lastly, this isn't a part of the Christmas line, but I've never tried it before. It's part of the um, permanent line, and that is the Geo Fizz Bath Bomb, which looks like this. And this smells just like a Christmas tree to me. It's very heavy. It's full of Hawaiian salts and... Um, just packed with lots of different kinds of salts. It's like a spa bath, but it smells just like a pine tree to me. So that's why I picked up this. And it's green, so this will be good for Christmas. And it's part something that's part of the permanent line that I've never tried. So I thought I would give it a whirl. So there is my Lush Holiday Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.